So in the last video of this series, we did the introduction. This time we're starting on considerations and then we're doing observations. That's our number one thing in this video. A section on observations is gonna allow you to hit this dot point of the ISMG, which is super important. So in this section, it's observations. We're gonna list our observations often done in dot point form. Now, we're gonna talk more about that because people misunderstand me when I say that. Uh, now, what's an observation? It's something the student observed in the reading of the question or in researching the topic. So you can get observations from your task sheet, but you can also get observations from the internet. That brings me to this spot here. If you went to the internet and observed something, use in-text referencing and then put that uh, citation in your, in your references list. In-text referencing is one of the best ways that you can show your teacher that you were doing documentation of relevant observations. In-text referencing, the minute a teacher sees in-text referencing, they're gonna think this student knows what they're doing. I'm feeling good about this. Each year, the QCAA publishes a subject report for maths general, for maths methods, for maths specialist. Uh, and in those subject reports, they give recommendations to students, etc. cetera. Uh, now this is one that I thought was probably summed it up best. It was from this year's Maths Methods report or from 2022's Maths Methods report. I'm not gonna read that out to you, you can read it. Now, that's not the only thing that the QCAA puts in these um, subject reports. They also put examples of previous students' work, and that's really useful. So here is an exemplary piece of student work when it comes to observations. Now, if your screen's not showing this perfectly, remember in the comments, you can download this document, so don't come at me. Let's read the first one. It was observed that the male to female ratio in Western Australia is 102 males for every 100 females. In text reference. And then what do they do? This observation directly impacts the mathematical model as the initial total population must divide by this ratio only to consider the female Western Australian population. So, three great things. They've observed something. They've provided evidence that that observation is an observation, i.e. an in-text reference and then a sentence where they explain why it's important for our mathematical model. So, to a first approximation, each one of your observations should consist of three things. The observation itself, a source for the observation, and why it's important to your mathematical model. You can see this happens here. It was observed that the Western Australia takes 30% of immigration into Australia each year. Source more source, and then these observations impacted the mathematical model. Great, three pieces. Here's my observation, here's my, here's my evidence that this observation is an observation, i.e. in-text reference, and then here's how it impacts my mathematical model. Now that's not the only exem exemplary student work we had from 2022. Have a read through these ones, you'll see a similar pattern emerge. Here's my observation and here's why it's important. Now, in my opinion, these observations aren't quite as good as these ones and you may like to think about why that is. But that said, these were given the top grade for observations and these were given the top grade for observations. So you can do like an exemplary effort or you can do like an exemplary effort and they're both great. But I think if you sort of model your observations off this kind of action, you're in a good spot. Okay, that's observations. Next time, we're gonna talk about assumptions.